right, so here's all the plumbing. I just want to get rid of all that stuff. Flexible tooling, and I want to change to this. It'll look nicer. Plus, it'll be easier for me to do um, maintenance. You know, with, with the unions, all I gotta do is unhook the unions, do maintenance. If I have to, uh, if I want to upgrade uh, the return pump in the future, one, two, three. If I want to clean them, one, two, three. Rather than um, trying to play with a flexible tube or you know get my tools and take out the clamps and so on. You know, it's just gonna make everything easier, and it's gonna look nicer too and cleaner. I'm gonna start off with this. Gloves and acetone. Um, the reason I bought that, um, I want to, on this lettering right here, I want it to look real nice. So when I put everything together, I don't want none of this lettering. This right here, these four, these four ball valves, right? I got these four ball valves and these um, adapters. This is going to replace. This is going to replace all those pumps I have in my something. I have a pump for every reactor, which first, it's more power, more electricity that I'm wasting, more maintenance. Um, removing those four pumps and hooking up all this to my return pump, it'll make everything easier. And then I got the bow, bow valves to connect how much flow I want on each. I'll be removing the uh, other flex tubes from my chiller and replacing this. That's why I actually got these right here. It's the same, the same uh, threat, but I'm going to make it into a PVC also. That way, you know, I don't want to have everything under the cabinet PVC and have my chiller with uh, flexible tubing. Now I'll just make everything PVC. I also have my return valves. Right now, uh, I got one on each side. I'm gonna split it to two on each side, just because I it'll give me more flexibility of where to, you know where do I want my water to go. So I have two on there on each side, and I even got myself the uh, PVC cover. So it'll just make it easier for me. You know, in the past, I I uh, I was cutting PVC with a handsaw. And let's just say it was a big mess. And I already tried it, it's, it's kind of sweet to use. Hey guys, so I'm, I'm actually in the garage right now. Um, the reason I'm in the garage is because it's acetone. It's actually a strong smell and I don't want to deal with this inside the house. But um, I'm just wiping out all this wording. Gotta put a little muscle to it. You know, keep uh, playing with it and adding more the acetone fluid until I get it all gone. I mean, I want I, I want no lettering whatsoever on these uh, PVC pipes. I'm gonna do these three first, and if I need to do the rest of, of the uh, PVC pipes, I'll come out here and do the rest. But I don't want to do all of them at, at once, just in case you know I don't need them. Um, but after I do this, I'll go out inside and go to the uh, other steps and show you uh, uh, what I'll be doing. So I already caught these three two-inch pieces of PVC. This is going to actually go like this. That's how it's going to look. Of course, it'll be shorter because that's going to be on the inside, but more or less. I, the re, and the reason why I want to leave a little space and not, you know, cut, make this too short so it could be completely flush, because after playing with this for a little bit, if I do it like this, and I want to open one of the reactors flow all the way, I can. But if I want to keep, uh, you know, mess up mess with the other one, you see, I won't be able to move this one. Actually, I might be able to. Let's see. If that goes up and down. Up and down. And it goes like that. So it goes about this one, this one. But then if I do this one, that's where it's going to hit and it won't be open all the way, yeah. So I'd rather leave a, a, a little gap in there, something like that. So I glue this part together. Not bad. Um, a little, little mess right here with the purple primer. But I guess I could deal with it. I'll, I'm going to try later on, see if with that little bit of acetone I have left, see if I can remove that. And then this one, I forgot, I, I put it that way. I was trying to put 
all those barcodes towards the back so it could look clean. But I'll try. I'll try to remove that one and that one, that acetone as much as I can. But so far, not bad. I even tried, you know, make sure it's completely straight. I think I did a pretty good job. Now I have to cut five pieces so that I can connect my ball balls. So I got this uh, part almost done. As you can see, there's a ball ball for each. Now these two, the reason why they're not finished, I got to uh, go to the store right now and grab one more. This is the X one that I put by mistake when I first started, so instead of cutting it up, and I just left it. So I, I need one more ball ball and then one more of these two pieces so that I can complete it. So here's the finished product after adding the pieces that I was missing. A um, few little mistakes. You know, I got some prime, a little bit of prime right there, a little bit of prime right there. That's, I don't know, hopefully I'll be able to take it out. And then this one, they all flushed. I guess that one I cut it a little bit too long. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. But I cut that one a little bit too long. So when I put the adapter to screw in this part, it's not flush, but overall, not bad at all. I actually think I did, I did a pretty good job on this. The next part, my tank, it's actually an older tank. It's drilled, but it's drilled only for the over, overflow box. These are gonna be my, uh, my return. So you can see, it's gonna have a dual return on each, on each corner. Okay, so what I ended up doing is, instead of uh, making this elbow straight to be you know parallel with this I don't know if you could tell I actually made it slanted towards the uh, towards my left I guess it'll be if you're watching the TV it'll be your right but it's not straight and I actually did that on purpose on both I don't know if you can notice that see one is going to be on one side of the tank facing tilted towards the side a little bit the other one is going to be on the other side of the tank tilted to the, this side that way because since it's going to be closer to the corner i don't want it to be you know completely flushing the corner because of the dual return valve so that's why i did it like that and then these parts i don't have the tool to put it together but let me show you real quick all I do is uh, clip it with my hand and I just press hard and it'll click. There you go. And then now I could get flow to whatever direction I want on the fish tank. I want to make, and I'm thinking about putting one down and one up towards the surface. I don't know, I'll figure it out once I get it in there. Okay, and this part, you know, it was, it was pretty simple. So you can see I got three elbows. And PVC pipe, I believe, is uh, 36 inches long. But there you go, guys. Actually, it's going to be like this in the tank. So I'm back in my tank. Now that I got those two main pieces put together, I'm going to start taking whatever I can. I got to replace that back there, that leakage. So I'm going to start taking my equipment out so that I can start putting my PVC together. You see back there, I don't know if you can see, I have a leak. See all that salt build up? So I put that, uh, that piece of rubber that, uh, that's actually on top of one of my small containers. I put that there to catch uh, the leakage, that way it goes right back into the uh, tank. But, all this right here, all these uh, tubes, it's all going to go out. I'm putting everything on PCB pipes. And another thing that I'm going to do is all those pumps in there, they are going to be gone. I'm only going to have one return pump and everything's going to be fed. All these right here, they are going to be, see all these tubes? It's all, it's all going to be PVC pipes. Well, actually, not from the tubes. My plan is, from back here, the main return pump is going to come up. It's going to split. 
one return that way, one return this way. Now my tank is a little bit older. My tank is drilled, but it's only drilled, I don't know if you can see it up there, it's only drilled on the overflow, overflow box. My returns are not drilled. They're actually, that right there, that's part of my return. And I've got this, it's actually a T split, one to the left side of the tank, one to the right side of the tank. Because I got my return pump, comes up, comes up through here, into my chiller. And then for my chiller, it goes to that T and split. But I'm, I'm gonna change all that. And then my tank, even though it's drilled, my overflow box, the pipe are still through the back. Anyway, all that's gonna be changed. And then my plan is right here. I'm gonna have a section with um, bow valves, one for each reactor. Just wanna show you what I've done so far. Pretty much I got everything out, except as you can see, the shiller. But um, got everything I needed. Hopefully that was the last trip to the store. Anyway, just want to show you real quick. This is the life of a uh, aquaholic. <laughs> this is what we go through every time when you're upgrading or or doing something to our to our tanks. I pretty much got a mess everywhere. Just thought I'd give you a, a quick, quick look. Anyway, I'm going to start uh, measuring now, putting everything in, and hopefully this is it, guys. All right, guys, so I just finished doing the, uh, the pipe for the overflow box. It took me a little bit longer than I thought it would, but got it done. I got my uh, dual pipe coming down from my overflow box. Go straight all the way down into my sump tank. So I think I did a pretty good job. And like I said, this is my uh, first time actually doing PVC with no instructions. Or like that movie is called Instructions Not Included or something like that. <laughs> anyway. I think I did a pretty good job. Now, um, let's see. Yep. Now, we'll do the plumbing for the return. So, hopefully, I'll get it done tonight. All right, guys. Here it is. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning. And I just finished that right there is one of my returns so it goes up so I go through here there's a T going down to my return pump so starts right here it goes up to a union that way if I have to clean that pump I could just go ahead and clean it it's gonna make my life way easier when it comes to doing maintenance on the pump. Anyway, so it goes up to the union, elbow, elbow, and T. I didn't want to do a T, but I have no choice. And since I have that on that side, I didn't want to go put the T that way and have more water flow going this way than to all that. So I prefer it splitting there which I know I'll lose some pressure, but it's all right. Anyway, it goes from there to there, all the way up. This is the other side. Water goes up to the T. Union, that's in case I have to take this part off. And this is where uh, my reactors are going to be hooked up to. They all have their own bob valve. And like I said, I'm, I'm uh, going to eliminate all those pumps I had there. 
which I won't be using all of them, but I have one just in case. I believe I have an extra one just in case I need it. That's four. I got four um, half inch and one three quarters. The three quarters for my um, bow pattern reactor. Then there's a union, which I was gonna put my chiller. I was gonna put my chiller on one of these, but decided not to. So there's another union. It goes down to the chiller. Goes right back up through the chiller and up to my other return flow. So that's it guys. And then those two back there, and that one and that one is from my overflow box. It just goes straight down into my return stuff. So there it is guys. It took me way longer than I expected. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit overnight. And tomorrow, I will do a uh, water test. Well, actually, I got to put everything back together, all my equipment. So there you have it, guys. All done. I started it maybe at 10 a.m., I think. 10, 11 a.m. I started everything. But I did have to go to Lowe's um, about four times. So I needed extra parts or one part was the wrong size and so on. Um, but there it is. And once again, this is my first time doing PVC pipes. I've never done it before. And i proud of myself. I think I did a pretty good job. And if I can do it, so can you. Uh, it's the first time in this year, so just watching videos and, and looking at pictures of other people's uh, sit, setup and stuff like that and trying to come up with my own setup. I actually did a sketch, which I have it around here somewhere. Um, I'll post a picture of that also on my uh, on my Facebook page. That way you guys can relate to um, when I started sketching and having the idea on how I was going to do it. But anyway, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to put everything back right now. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. We'll go to bed and then tomorrow put everything back together and show you guys um, how everything will be up and running. But right now, good night. See you in tomorrow, in my next video or whatever.